Well, I think we stuck to the system and, and uh, you know, sticking to the things that are, 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 you know, making us, giving us some success. But special teams were good tonight. PK was good. Um, you know, I mean, it's the type of game we have to play. The only time we get in trouble is when we just stray away from it a little bit. You know, again, it's the puck management aspect of the game that we have to make sure that we get pucks past their D and we forecheck and we hunt pucks and, um, you know, just play the identity of our group. It's the only time that we get in trouble is when we try to do too much. And, um, you know, it's, it's a learning experience. Every game we've, we've since the game one, it's always something you take away to build for the next and the next. So it was a good job at the end there, especially the last two guys are pretty tired. You know, gutty effort, Vale and Deli and the D there, so Sparksy and everybody. Talk about the uh, effort of Mr. Shorthanded himself, Brady Vale. Brady? Yeah, I mean, he's all I got into him in the third period. He was, he was flying. And sometimes when, you, when they're going, you just got to let them go. And he's, you know, he jumped on that pretty quick. And Ben Johnson did a good job, too. And they're both guys that can skate. And they can track well. And that's one of their biggest assets is their skating. And when they're moving their feet and they're dangerous players. And, you know, they did a great job there. So, you know, for a young guy, it's part of his development. And, you know, and he's learning. He's come a long way. So for him to see him get rewarded like that, it was positive, real good, good thing. Notice the possession game was much better tonight than it was a couple minutes ago. Um, anything that you changed yesterday or today? I think we, you know, injecting two other, you know, Monty and, and Tansky in, uh, a little bit more size. Ali to possess the puck a little bit more, a little bit better wall work and, and you know, Marshy. And, you know, that's how we kind of have to play, I mean, on the outside and just, you know, protect the puck and make good decisions with it and be physical. You know, that's the biggest thing is making sure we lean on our sticks and we're playing hard. Saturday's big game just got elevated. You hold serve like yep. everybody has at home so far. You win Saturday, take your shot, you two closeout games on the road. Just got to, you know, get some rest, you know, you know, digest everything, wake up tomorrow, you know, see how we feel. and and uh, just get ready, you know, you can't look past Saturday. We haven't, you know, done it all year, so well, I'm really looking past, you know, this Saturday's tomorrow and go from there and watch the video and see what we have to, you know, there's always something you can get from it, good, bad, or indifferent, so. But, I mean, it, it, it was going to be an important game anyway. Yeah, now, every now, yeah, now, no, I mean, every game. It's, it's totally changed. Yeah, I mean, it's for both teams, and it's a seven-game series for a reason, and you have to play it like that, and that's where – you know, we can't look past Saturday, and that's no different than we conducted ourselves all season. Is it after being down 0-2 and now tied, is it is it a, a relieved feeling in the locker room? No, I don't think you can ever – in playoffs, you can't let your guard down. You can't, and that's part of it. And that's part of what hurt us in the first two games. The moment you give an inch or a foot, it, it, can, it, can, it gets dangerous. So you can't let off the gas, and you have to keep pushing forward and – and the, the biggest thing is the consistency to do it, uh, you know, night in and night out, just like the season. It's, you know, you know, night in and night out, we just have to keep getting better and better. Coach, you talked about wanting to build confidence uh, at home. Two straight games in a row, uh, winning here, do you think they're doing that? Well, I think it's, it helps. Obviously, your fans were, were really behind, especially towards the end. It was great, loud, and they appreciate, you know, the guys, the commitment level and the guys blocking shots and, and the battle count, you can see it in their faces, and that's playoff hockey. I mean, that's that's the, that's why it's the best time of the year. You have a little gray here. Yeah, I got a lot gray. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> really gray. So. Um, update on uh, Seep and uh, whether or not he's going to be available on Saturday. Yeah, we'll see how you know he's just you know upper body. I mean, you know we'll see what's available tomorrow, but we have options, which is the biggest thing. That's a good thing. So. Are you liking what you've seen? Yeah, absolutely. I like the way we're playing. We just beat it into them all the time, consistently playing the right way. Not one guy, two guys, everybody. Goaltender out, the whole decor did a phenomenal job, and, and the, everybody up front playing the right way, 60 minutes all the time. Special teams, and that's the it's the the margin for error is greater. The readiness has to be a major factor. Shift to shift, can't stray. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, 
you know, it's a big rivalry for us, and uh, I thought we played a, a full 60-minute game, and, uh, you know, that's what we need to do to beat this team, and uh, a lot of guys stepped up tonight, and uh, it was a fun game to play, and uh, it's a big win for us. What's been the difference the past two games? Uh, I think our resiliency, uh, you know, not quitting on pucks, and, and guys tracking back hard to, to our end, and, um, you know, we're getting that out of everyone, and that's, that's what we need to win, and... Um, you know, Saturday's a big game for us, and uh, we expect the same results and uh, the same effort. You said he was hoping to build confidence with you guys during the fun set. Um, have you? Yeah, I think uh, so far we've done a good job. Um, there's a lot of hockey left, and, uh, you know, home ice is a big thing in the playoffs, and, uh, you know, the building was good tonight, and uh, we're expecting the same thing on Saturday. So uh, we got to get some rest here in the next couple of days, and, uh, you know, we, we want to go back to Florida with, uh, with a lead for sure. Yeah, um, well, I think there you're just kind of waiting for the buzzer to ring. And uh, I was, you know, looking at the ground and looking up the clock. And, you know, they had a few chances. But uh, Sparks, he's been great for us all year. And, uh, you know, he uh, he did a great job for us at the end there. And guys were blocking shots, getting in lanes. And, you know, that's playoff hockey. And, you know, can't say enough about the guys on the ice tonight and how hard we worked. Yeah, I mean, we we want to stay out of the uh, the stuff after the whistle, uh, you know, play hard between the whistles, and uh, the ref kind of stated that at the start of the game. He didn't want any stuff after the whistles and whatsoever, but, um, you know, we, d we did a great job uh, finishing our checks on them and, and, you know, like I said, playing between the whistles, and, uh, you know, we don't really want to change too much come Saturday. Um, we just need to keep up with this effort, and, you know, guys are starting to believe in the room that we can do this, and... Uh, that's a big thing in, in the, the sport of hockey, for sure. You talk about um, the development you've seen since you got here with uh, Captain Shorthand Brady Bale. Oh, he's, uh, he's been great. He's my roommate. Uh, I've been telling him all year, shoot the puck. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he stepped up tonight for sure. And uh, he's done it for us uh, all year, you know. And, um, you know, we expect that out of him uh, every game. And, you know, he's a young guy, lots of energy. And, you know, he enjoys the game and he plays the right way, so I was happy to see him get a couple. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Brett. Does this relieve any pressure for you guys? You were chasing, going down 3 0, now you're tied up. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's always good to win the games at home. Um, you know, we're going to have to get one in their barn, it's going to look like. So, uh, Hopefully we got the same energy Saturday. I know uh, you know the fans were definitely behind us tonight. So hopefully Saturday again, uh, you know, really pushes us uh, when the crowd's into it. So hopefully we can get that again. After your second goal, you had like six of your teammates jump on top of you. Where, <laughs> how'd you stay? <laughs> uh, stay uh, that's the best part after scoring a goal is uh, you know celebrating with your guys and uh, you know it was great to get some energy. Um, you know it was tough. They scored a quick one after, but. You know, we played the right way down the stretch, and you know that's what's going to take for us to win. Do you guys feel more confident now than you did two games ago? Yeah, we know. Uh, you know, we've been good at home all year, and uh, when we bear down and we play the right way, um, you know, it's tough for teams to beat us. And you know, I think we've made that pretty clear the last two games. Um, so if we we got momentum, so if we keep it going and uh, you know steal another one Saturday. Was there anything out there that you saw specifically that had two goals? Um, I'm not too sure they, uh, you know, me and me and uh, Johnson, we played together for three years in junior, so uh, you know we have some chemistry, and he uh, he did a great job on the forecheck, um, you know, and just pretty much gave me a wide open shot in the slot, um, and then the second one, you know, it was a good good bounce uh, right back onto my stick, so you know those are it's the way the game goes. I'm glad it happened. Uh, you know, in the third period, but you know, we found a way to win. That's the big part. So, obviously, you've been so good killing penalties and scoring short-handed goals this year, and it carried into this carried into the playoffs. What is it about your game that takes you to another level when you're out there on the PK? Um, well, the way I look at the penalty 
penalty kill, you know, they have an extra guy, so they're a little bit uh, nonchalant. It's just the way it is. You know, you don't play as hard when you have an extra guy. So, you know, if you can uh, make up and, you know, bear down and get the puck out in your zone, that's when, uh, you know, they start cheating for offense, and that's when you get, uh, you know, the chance to score shorthanded. It just happened to be, uh, you know, a good turnover tonight and a great play by one of our guys. Did you and Johnson get to play a lot of, a lot of PK together? Probably every single one. So... It was good. Uh, I think we killed every single one tonight too. So me and him. That's good to have him back in town. Oh yeah, he's a great guy, uh, great player, and you know he's definitely helping our team uh, being here. So hopefully we can keep it up. And like I said, uh, steal another one Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brad.